Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 30 days with the ECMWF. So we're going to be looking at mean cell pressure, 500 mil of our height, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks. It will take us into uh, the early part of January and I shall get on that for you very shortly. We can extend out to six weeks uh, with this and we'll show you weeks five and six uh, data uh, in our live stream tomorrow from 6 o'clock in the evening. So that will be coming up tomorrow, Wednesday, from 6 in the evening, where we, we will extend out to sort of weeks 5 and uh, 6. We're going to stop this at weeks uh, at week 4, as it is a 30-day month head look at. So I should get on that view very shortly. Just say that coming up later on, we're going to have 10 to 14-day video update, including all our breaking features. And you'll be able to see that, uh, as I say, later on uh, today. Thank you so much to uh, e7df.int for uh, supplying the charts. And, uh, yeah, let's get on with it then. So, we're going to begin uh, with the uh, week one. Uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly taking us from the 7th through to the 14th of December. So, the brighter the colour, the higher the pressure. Pink is extrapolated to high pressure, and the darker the colour, the lower the pressure. So, you can see that uh, for mean cell pressure in week, we're going to have an area of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic into much of northern and western Europe. The jet stream is going to be through here somewhere uh, as well, a little bit of northwest southeast alignment. We've got high pressure up towards the far northeast Europe and into west of Russia uh, as well. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's going to be bringing like, quite cold air. Uh, across many northern parts of Europe and Western Europe, but the low pressure here is going to provide the energy for the unsettled weather. This is the Azores High down here, and uh, that is somewhat displaced southwest of its regular position. Here's the uh, 500 billabar height anomaly for the uh, week ahead uh, as well. Uh, week 1 from the 7th to the 14th of December. Again, a lot of blocking uh, within the northern latitudes, high pressure across much of northern Europe, lower pressure through the west of Europe, the jet streams on a northwest southeast alignment uh, as well. And so it's looking, you know, quite unsettled and also quite chilly for much of Western Europe in week a drier in the north and the northeast coast area of high pressure. Here is our uh, week one temperature anomaly taking us from the 7th to the 14th of December. So um, Scandinavia looking a little bit milder than average, but going over the Baltic Sea and towards the far northeast of Europe, it's colder than average you there. Much of Eastern Europe, from like uh, the Adriatic and the Balkans over to Black Sea, significantly above average. And it gets cooler across the west of Europe, so much of France and Low Countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, into Germany, up to the UK and Ireland, uh, and also into Denmark. We're talking about um, rather colder than average temperatures through here. The coldest temperature, though, uh, temperature anomalies are uh, across the northwest of Russia. Down into Mediterranean, it's a three-way split. So Spain and Portugal are milder than average. The central bowl of the Med is colder than average or cooler than average. I um, mean, it gets milder than average again as we go into the southeastern part of Europe, through Greece, Turkey, and on into Cyprus. And this is how the precipitation anomaly is looking in the week ahead. So quite unsettled, actually, for week one, 7th to the 14th of December, for much of Western uh, Europe, particularly wet through uh, France and down to Spain and Portugal, significantly above average rainfall there. Most parts of the Mediterranean are also coming out wetter than average. Going further northwards, it gets a little bit drier than average through the low country to Germany, on into Poland, although Ukraine looks uh, uh, like it's got above average precipitation up there. Of course, that could be uh, snow. Going northwards, we find uh, many parts of northwestern Russia and the Baltic Sea looking drier than average. Large parts of Scandinavia, especially around Norway, uh, looking dry than average too. I mean, into Ireland and the UK, a little bit on the wetter than average side uh, through there. And what is, again, quite an unsettled week. You can see where the high pressure is again, where it's driest up here. That's where we've got lots and lots of uh, high pressure and blocking within the normal latitude, sending low pressure and the jet stream southwards and eastwards. So that's how week one is looking. Let's have a look at week two then. This is the 14th to the 21st of December. Looking quite unsettled across Western Europe here with a trough of low pressure, area of low pressure covering much of West of uh, Europe. So it's a little bit more unsettled over in the far east and southeast of Europe. And then we've got some higher pressure up towards Scandinavia. Again, there's a dip in the jet stream. Uh, so the jet stream is something like that. We're on the cool side, cold side of the jet. And uh, we're looking quite unsettled across the West of Europe in particular. 
in the week. Yeah, this is our be, uh, in, the, in week two, I should say. This is our week two, 500 millibar height. Normally, he's looking again from the 14th, 21st of December. So, low pressure is across the west of Europe. Uh, and again, the jet stream ding down, something like that. We've got blocking to the north and also through central and eastern parts of, uh, of Europe. Um, so so we could be pulling up like uh, quite a mild southerly wind over the fort onto the eastern side of Europe, but conversely bring down quite a cold northerly wind on the northern side uh, of Europe. I certainly wouldn't rule that out. Uh, week 2 temperature anomaly looks like that. So actually it seems a much more than average week across most parts of Europe here. Through the middle part of December from the 14th to the uh, 21st. So so particularly mild like from uh, the Black Sea over to France. Where let's get the temperature scale up see how high that's going. So into those uh, sort of um, deep orange colours. I think that's like 3 to 6 degrees above average. Quite widely actually across many parts of Europe. So a very very mild week. Um coming up. I'm not sure about that. I think that's going a bit over the top, especially like uh, for, for the west of Europe, where we close that area of, uh, of low pressure. But I suppose with the low centre just slightly to west of Ireland, we could be pulling up like mild southerly wind. But I think that's a little bit over the top, that temperature. Uh, not really. But anyway, it's going for a very, very mild wind across most parts uh, of Europe, actually. Any colder than average temperatures are sort of pushed back into the far northwest of Russia, and they're out in the Atlantic as well. Just like a sea of red, uh, really, orange and red, um, from, from like uh, far west. So, uh, Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal, right way over to the far east and north east Europe. So, a very mild week coming up. Um, there, in week two. Uh, this is week two uh, precipitation anomaly. Again, takes us from the 14th, 21st of December. And we look like this. It's drier than average in the east and the southeast of uh, Europe. Above average, average precipitation in the far north and also much of the west as well. So there's a swathe of more unsettled conditions from Spain and Portugal, southwest, uh, from western parts of France, into uh, Ireland, England and Wales in particular. Scotland's a little bit drier. And then heading up towards Scandinavia, uh, above average precipitation uh, through there. I mean, it goes drier again, like to the far north and northwest. So there is still some blocking in evidence. There is still high pressure up here, obviously. Um, but it's this ridge, I suppose, that's over on the eastern side of Europe with the low pressure combined through there, but sort of pulling up minor southerly winds uh, in that week. So the Mediterranean is concerned, an, an east-west split, so uh, much of western Med from um, like the central bowl over to Spain and Portugal is wetter than average, much of the central and eastern Med from Corsica and Sardinia eastwards to Greece, uh, generally looking uh, drier than average through there. And then we go through to week three, which takes us from the 23rd, 28th of December, Christmas week. Of course, this is it. This is Christmas week. Uh, and interesting, it looks like high pressure is building over Scandinavia. So we've got a Scandinavian high here for Christmas with low pressure slinking away to the south. You would have thought that's going to be turning winds into the east uh, across much of northern Europe with that Scandinavian high uh, through there. So, easterly winds, perhaps, for Christmas. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height. And let me see what that's doing. So, uh, again, it's indicative of, like, high pressure to the north. Uh, through here, lower pressure is down there. Uh, and, again, we should be pulling in, like, winds uh, from an easterly direction. Could be a little bit south I suppose. But should be easterly winds uh, coming through there. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. So that's doing much cooler as we go through to uh, Christmas week. Doesn't show it going particularly cold, but obviously, like the change from uh, week two, which is very substantially above average, to week three, which certainly looks a lot, you know, a lot closer to average or no signal. Uh, I think you say there's a pretty big cool down going on here. Much of southern, southeastern Europe. Um, uh, forecast to be uh, uh, like uh, milder than average. Some parts of Scandinavia, only about Scandinavian high, still a little bit milder than average, although bear in mind these are anomalies to average, so it will still be very cold for northern Europe. Colder than average across the northwest of Russia, and this sort of area through central and western Europe just has no signal, but I would have thought with wind going into the east, that is likely to be, uh, you know, those areas are likely to be somewhat colder than, than the average, really. 
the uh, precipitation anomaly uh, looks like that. So it's just generally dry up and average for much of uh, Northern Europe, really. So high pressure is in control, but precipitation, what precipitation there is, looks like it's mostly down through the Mediterranean, probably in the form of heavy showers and thunderstorms. Most parts of Central Western and also to some degree Northern Europe are looking rather dry and average there through, through Christmas week. So yeah, remain quite interesting, quite interesting there. Uh, for Christmas week, if you want something a little bit seasonable. And then finally, for this update, we go through to week four, which is the 28th of December to the 4th of January. And uh, very, very weak signals here. So, so what's going on there? It looks like the Scandinavian high is probably receding back into, like, Western Russia. Um, got lower pressure through here. So maybe just, like, a re-establishment of, uh, of the westerly flow. But again, the scene is so weak that it is very difficult to ascertain what's happening there uh, through the new year, to be honest. Some sort of change could be taking place. 500 millibar height anomaly still shows a uh, sort of blocking, really, a blocking signal to the north. That is northern blocking that we've got there to the north. A um, little bit weaker than it is in, in, during, in week three, during Christmas week. Maybe a re-establishment of, of the westerly flow. Uh, but again, the scene is so weak that it is quite difficult, really, to ascertain what's happening there. Temperature anomaly for week 4, 28th of uh, December to 4th of January. Again, looking very, very sketchy, doesn't it? So much of northern and eastern Europe, a little bit more than average. Very difficult to work out what's happening in the west of Europe, uh, really. So <laughs> so this new year period uh, looks like something is going on. Probably some sort of change, but a change to what... Um, it's not really sealed all that well. Um, but precipitation anomaly sort of rounds it all off. Very, very sketchy. Really sketchy stuff with that precipitation anomaly. No particular signal, to be honest. Um, for, for like temperature or precipitation or, or really mean thermal pressure, just the 500 millibar high anomaly still shows some sort of uh, northern blocking. Weeks 5 and 6 will take us from the 4th to the 18th of January. So into the second half of January. And uh, we will show you those um, in our live stream tomorrow from uh, 6 o'clock. So we're going to stop the video there. As this is a 30-day look ahead. So uh, that's it then. And uh, so looking quite so looking quite interesting for Christmas. Looks like uh, ECM is still playing around with the idea of a Scandinavian high. We are seeing that in some of the other model output as well. Might get wind into the east and, you know, bring something a bit colder to northern Western Europe um, for, for Christmas. It just generally continue to look quite seasonable, although there is a very mild interlude around the middle part of the month now. I think it's going a little bit over the top of that temperature anomaly, I have to say. Uh, for for, for um, mid-December, but a minor interval anyway uh, around the middle part of December, and then possibly back something colder uh, for Christmas. Beyond that, it's getting very very sketchy uh, for the new year. Right, so uh, that's it for uh, for this one. We'll be back later on with ten to fourteen day video update, including all our regular features. So come back for that then uh, for the ECMW thirty day abo. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.